Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. If you had viewed the earlier version of this video, I found several uh, things that explained why I was having a problem with the upload. So we're going to walk this through all fresh and be ready to go. So let's start by uh, installing uh, the TFTP uh, HPA service. There is another one out there, but everything I've read is this is the one that everybody pretty much will go with. So we'll get the process started. And with the, the solution I've come up to with this, this streamlines significantly the way uh, this will work and a bunch of the manual steps that some of the other solutions have, have suggested that you go through. Now, once you get this configuration done, you can upload a file you don't have to use the touch command and you know, kind of get the you know the file kind of thinking it's already there when it's not so really this is going to be just like you're running tftp on a windows system so you know from that standpoint it's you get this configured you put it on the network and you're you're ready to go so this is the version the uh the 5.2-4 and it's almost right here but we've already at this point in the installation have already gone through and done the uh, update of the apt-get files and you see now this is where it fails and this is a, where a lot of people have had problems in tripping it up so what we will go through and do is there is a file we need to go change which is sudo nano etc default tftpd-hpa now the problem that causes most of this and if you if you did a tale of the etc log syslog file you would see bad descriptor well it's not really a good indication of what the problem is what's going on is that the way this was written it's expecting ipv6 to be up and running and if it finds that it will still work on four but by doing the dash four or you can also do a dash dash ipv4 they both accomplish the same thing and that will make it IPv4 only and tell it not to even look at six. Now the other thing we want to do is do a dash dash create. This and one other step will have TFTP up and running just the way you're used to. You don't have to do any extra steps. So we'll save this and get back to the prompt. Then we'll do one other step and by default you see where the directory that it's going to write to on the Raspberry Pi forward slash CRV forward slash TFTP so we'll do a sudo chmod and we're going to change the directory writes dash r which is going to make it recursive even though there's nothing there I just went ahead and kept it that way and then 777 and that sets up the writes in the directory we're actually giving an execute writes I tried doing 666, I tried doing various levels, and it was the 777 that was the magic combination, which with only doing this as a temporary measure, I've used uh, TFTB before, and the, there's security you can set up, but for temporary usage, this is going to be the easiest way to get it up and running, and it'll do forward slash SRV, forward slash TFTP, and it doesn't come back and give you any message, but which is good if there was a if you got the directory name wrong i mean it would tell you that so the next thing we do is we do sudo like spell sudo right here sudo space service space tftpd dash hpa restart and see at this point it didn't error out so we know it's up and running and we will go over here and we will do a file new and this is just the one i found on the mac but there you know from windows it should be the same process 192.168.15.62 and when doing the sin we'll actually go through and we'll just pick a file here it's just you know pdf file that i've got up and running i've got no password set up on it and i didn't change anything other than what i showed you on adding the dash create and the dash four 
we will hit start and as you can see it's already sending so that was all there was to it you can't uh, make it any easier than this now TFTP is not going to be the fastest thing in the world but some of the you know the legacy the older network gear TFTP may be its only option and it's it's an option at least you know you will also go through in a in a later video and show you how to set up FTP but other than that this is all there is to it very straightforward so hopefully this will make it easier for you to use and thank you for your time in uh, in watching this and rereading the, uh, the post on the website if there's anything that I haven't covered so far that you're interested in, please uh, send me an email via my website at www.ronnutter.com and I'll be glad to get it on my list if I don't already have it on there. And I look forward to uh, getting another video to you here in the next few days. Thank you very much.